Alright, so next game will be Shattered. This game was made by Lovely Hell Place. Now, I actually played a game by this dev on the Haunted PS1 demo disc series, which was... what was the name of it? Dread Delusion. And it was one of my favorites of the series. It looked like it was an open world RPG game, and it looks promising as hell. I actually do recommend you. I actually do recommend anyone watching this to play it. It's not my favorite demo. It's not my favorite game out of the demo disc, but it has such promise, and I can't wait for the full game. In the ruins of the in ruins in the ruins of future Britain, new gods rule the wastes. Standard controls there. When two previously unconnected groups meet, there is always a period of incompatibility. Now on the micro scale, this just means some awkward handshakes and uncomfortable laughter. On a grand scale, it can mean the decimation of one of the groups due to disease, technological superiority, cultural assimilation, etc. However, we typically only view these interactions within the scope of our own species. When encountering less advanced life forms, the extinction can be swift and entirely unintentional. Indeed, more species have been eliminated by sheer carelessness than were ever purged as part of the plan. Now take that knowledge and apply it in the other direction. If we came into contact with a species far more advanced than us, they might not even notice us, and we might not notice them. Now, we envision an alien invasion as gigantic ships in the sky raining down some kind of weaponized energy. In reality, it is unlikely we would have the capacity to even fathom in what form these higher beings would come. Do you really think a cat is aware of the nature of a car before it is ground into the pavement? Kid and Doom, do you have any wisdom to shed about that? I'm not a wise man. I'm just a kid. <laughs> That's fair. Shatter. All right, and here we are with Shatter. <laughs> Fuck the pigs. Actually, let's go into this building first. Hello. Well, this is uh, this is a this is a surprise. New faces are rare enough, but looks like you've got no neurals, none at all. You know the gods rule everything outside London, right? Without neural without neural access, you'll be dead before morning. Help him? You gotta be crazy. This one. Tell you what. Down the hill, there's a town, uh, if you could even call it that. If you find any neurals there, I'll configure them for you. But, just so we're clear, you'll owe me. Okay. You cannot use this terminal, you must connect to the network first. Okay. So, down this way, let's say, town? Alright. What's this? 
Flashlight, a simple torch. Press E to turn it on and off. Like most tech in Britain, this is a battered old thing, clearly repaired by many different hands over the years. Alright, well, let's turn it on. Why not? Yeah, the other game that I played by this developer had a more fantasy element to it. This one is more like an apocalyptic sci-fi wasteland. Hey, without the Morrigan, you, we'd all be dead. The government don't give two shits about us. These are hard times. There's no such bioterrorism floating about. Without divine nanotech, our crops would fail and we'd starve. If we didn't die from some hacker's virus first. Well, what's up here? Nothing. You have nothing to offer. Let me guess. Yep. The door is unlocked over the terminal. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice I had a stamina bar. But I do. Good to know. Clearly an item for me to grab. Your own plants to increase them and the cost six larvae. Well, I don't have enough. Our town's been well to the Morgan since the world winter. We help nurture its fairy larvae to maturity. In return, we're given some of the most useful biotech of Britain. We're willing to trade some if you got larvae. You can find it all over the place, but only if you're connected to the network. Larvae is really just data after all. Alright, well, how do I connect to the network? My guess is I go up here. Let's find out where this goes. Uh, looks like nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. Maybe I, maybe I should go up there. Well, there's something there. Neural implant. To install this, take it to the girl in the ruined church. The neural implant is a vial of hormones, enzymes, and nanorobotics. It can modify a person's brain chemistry to access the augmented reality network. Britain is a backwater country with woefully inadequate network in infrastructure. Rogue AI has wandered the digital realm, largely unchecked by the government. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, fell off. Is there anything up here first before we go back to the church? Well, there's a skeleton. Now the machine's done. I thought my escape from London would be euph euphoric. For 30 years, I've toiled in that dreary hell, following the loudspeaker's orders, doing my duty. They said the countryside was nearly. Uh, decontaminated that we could move back to a paradise of green rolling hills, but this place is a wasteland. The local town, if you can call a cluster of crumbling brick walls a town, 
were kind at least. It gave me some biotech, which I'm obviously not going to use some pagan nonsense about gods. If I could only get out of the country and make it to Nigeria, to Abu Vigos, I'll leave in the morning, head to the coast. Good luck. Well, actually, I, I mean, there was a skeleton up there. That might be, that might be the person. I don't think they, I don't think they made it. Visually speaking, this game is a lot similar. It's very similar to the previous game I played from them, and that's not at all a good point. Because I thought this graphical style was very neat, and I'm glad to see that they kept up that tradition. All right, back to the church we go. I'm back with uh, whatever the thing you wanted of me. Oh, looks like you found a neural injector. The right hormone comfy will get you on grid. Wrong one will break your brain. Lovely. So give it here and stay fucking still unless you want the mental capacity of a turnip. Your brain has been configured to access the augmented reality network and the metropolises of uh, Abuja in Tokyo, this would mean a world of seamless capitalist integration. But in backwater Britain, outdated network infrastructure is ruled by rogue AIs worshipped as gods. And there, done. If you see any weird shit like giant pink insects and stuff, don't worry. They're just our AI overboards. Winky face. <laughs> this had better be worth it. Oh, I see that, um... Uh, yeah, sure, we can save. Okay, so now we can save. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha. So... Okay. Actually, aren't I supposed to collect these things? Oh. Oh, that's my flashlight, that's right. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm trying to remember what were some other things I couldn't access because I didn't have the neural network. I think there was something over here, right? Yeah. Door's been unlocked. Okay. That was quite the music change to this area. Hello. Okay, hold it right there. This here is a government checkpoint. You two fixed know what that means? It means fuck off. Unless, of course, you fancy giving this corporal something they can spend back in London, eh? None of this larvae crap, real money, or fuck off. What about you? If you want to get free, speak with the colonel. Uh, corporal, sorry. Heard that wrong. by accident. What's up here? I will say that's kind of the problem I have with this developer though is that the areas are so large and I just want to keep exploring. Oh, 
Old money, paper currency bearing the insignia of an ancient dead empire. For those trapped under government rule in London, this is the only accepted currency. Though there is little to spend it on, as luxury goods from Asia or Africa are rarely imported. That's unfortunate. But we do have money. Joseph is sick. He's delirious with fever, and his skin bloats with strange boils that twist the spiral pattern and bloom into vibrant colors. This is no natural disease. Tiny specks form the letters JJ on his neck. It must be the calling card of the fucker who engineered it. We've abided by government regulations all this time. We give the soldiers their fife, plus whatever else they ask for, but still they won't give us medicine. The problem I'm taking Joseph to the Morgan. I won't call that thing a god, it's just data, but so is our DNA. So is this virus. It's our last hope. Yeah, very dystopianish. Who would have thought? Fairy larvae, a premature form of a fairy often traded as currency. To create a successor, a fairy will con coerce raw network data into larvae. Fairy applications are royal. From to a certain god, executing commands as needed. They also display fondness for humans if nurtured in society, so their are is vulnerable. Hmm. Well, I need uh, four more of those in order to trade with the other guy. Do I have enough money for a discard? Is my question. Yeah, this is a stuff still even smells of coke. I'm a man of my word, but I'll let you through. So go on then, piss off. Wow, I gave you money and that's how you treat me still. even anything up here. Honestly, these bugs are kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. In a really weird way, that is. That was quite the loud noise. You need a key for the store. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to go through this door. We're going to go back to the uh, church area here. Yeah, the car scheme of this game is really good. I love the, uh, the use of green, brownish, whitish backgrounds with a very stark color contrast to purple. Pink flies. The one thing that I really just appreciate about this dev is just their use of colors and real construction.
I'm not sure how, how much larvae do I have? Does it say? It doesn't say. Alright. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can interact. I think I think I've been wondering if I can interact with this for the longest time. It's about time we find out. Hello. Primate, your presence was protected by Br Bridget and her uh, di divination algorithms. You are a vertebrate of special interest to us. Your arrival coincides Coincides with the birth of the divine pupa, a new god. Coincidence is statistically irrelevant, though we admit a curiosity for such irregularities. A test. We asked this primate to locate the divine pupa in the upper world and return it to us. Our servants have left you a key. You will need it. Okay. Oh, the key is right there. Rusted key, an old key to a nearby ruin. As Britain's wealth declined, so did its population, succumbing to genetically engineered diseases, starvation, or migration. Many old buildings were sealed up to rot. Uh, thank you, giant fly. Now I have to walk all the way back. Which building was it? I think it was like over that way past the, past the soldiers, right? Uh, let's save. Oh, that's not the... I think it was this building on the top. Does the great be ambient noise this kind of gets me in this game? Yeah, it was this building. Right. Door unlocked. Grub. Where are taking? <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, 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 that's hurting me. Those are not friendly. Shit, 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 what do I do? Oh, there's something right there. Divine Pipa. Uh, Chrysalis of God, bring this to the war again without leaving the other world. While most larvae will undergo metamorphosis to a flower in exceptional circumstances that God has formed, the pupa, hungry for data, consumes an obscene amount of network 
resources. For this reason, it can only exist in the other world, in imperfect simulation of reality. Well, either way, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> that didn't go well. Let's restart. Wait, I already have Ami. Okay. Yeah, they go for walls. They certainly go for walls. That's a problem. They're also slightly faster than my walking speed, which is another problem. off yet. Shit. Still chasing me. Okay, I need to find a way to get up there real fast. I'm only at a sliver of health left. There's another one! Morgan, please, help me. The Prime Minister retrieved the Divine Pupa. Normally, a fairy would receive such a precious entity. I was mocked by the other gods for sending a primate. And though you were slain by flesh chains of the other world, you succeeded in your task. The Divine Pupa you brought will soon mature. It will likely become a minor deity, a little more than a fairy. But a single anonymous simulation predicted something exceptional, a near omnipotent god that could reshape Britain as it wished. And as young gods possess irrational affection for those who have helped them, this would make you a vertebrae of exceptional significance. This interaction has provided us with much data, Primate. But now it is time for you to leave. It is exceedingly probable we will meet again. Is that it? And that was Shatter. Very unsettling. <laughs> Again, it matches the other game that I played from them, which also just had fantastic environmental creation. Maybe, like, the most I can complain is about it's a little too similar to the other game, but at the same time, like, I got no complaints as I love Dread Delusion itself. So basically having more Dread Delusion is not a complaint for me. I do look forward to seeing more from both games. And that's as much as I can think of what to say on Shatter. What the game can't wait to see more.